As the investigation into the shooting continues in Connecticut, officials here in the Wabash Valley are also taking extra steps to keep kids safe. News 10's Joe Ostrowski spoke with authorities in two counties to find out what they're doing to protect schools today and keep them protected in the weeks ahead. It's not unusual to see Deputy Homer not on patrol, but along with riding the roads of Clay County, Indiana, he also spent Monday visiting county schools, checking out the parking lots and meeting with administrators. In light of last week's deadly shooting, the Clay County Sheriff's Department asked two of their deputies, including Deputy Knott, to visit schools and do just that. They also assigned another to spend all day in schools. I feel pretty confident in our schools, uh, but there's always, you know, with modern technology, the way it's changing as fast as it does, there's always something else that we could probably do different or increase, and that's what we're going to work on. Others are adding security, too. In Vigo County, the Sheriff's Department began foot patrols at each county school this week. That means officers will visit every county school every day. We really believe one of the best ways that we can combat this is to have law enforcement in the school. It's a, it's a, it's a changing world. County authorities also met today to discuss new security measures to meet those changes. Among them, adding door buzzers at schools, installing more security cameras, and training more staff on how to deal with an active shooter. It's going to be a team effort. It is going to take public cooperation, parental co cooperation, uh, school corporation, uh, governing bodies, city, county, state, and federal governing bodies. And Chief Deputy Clark Cottom says whatever measures schools take, he's sure this tragedy will leave a lasting impact. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Cody Murphy, Joe Ostrowski, News 10. And something else to keep in mind, as shocking as last week's shooting was, experts say schools are generally safe, and they say children are much more likely to be victims of crime outside school than inside.